Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we are going to get started on working on our economy plugin. So the first thing that I did is I went ahead and just made my main class, had an extend Java plugin, I uh, did some preliminary stuff. If you don't know how to basically set up a basic plugin and its dependency, you should probably head back to a, pretty much episode one of my uh, bucket coding series. Um, cause I'm not going to go over, cause I'm not going to be going over sort of those basic things, but you're going to want to add your spigot jar and your vault jar. And then we made a Maven project. So to do that, you just go ahead and right click new module Maven project. And I also have a video briefly, briefly going over Maven and how to use Maven. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out as well. No sense to do it again. But the most important thing is inside of our palm.xml, we're going to want to go ahead and add this build plugins plugin group ID. And this is just so we can build in Java 1.8. You can obviously change this as you would like. You could change this to 1.9. I'm just going to keep it as 1.8 because it works the best. Well, it works. It works. That's all that really matters. It works. Then we have our plugin.yml. And we're actually going to change this to day economy. And so we're gonna need our name, our main, which is going to be me. .tsc.dayconomy. .dayconomy main. Our version is 1.0. Our dependencies is vault. Our commands will be daycon, and our usage and description. And now the next thing we are going to, we are going to have to do is we need to go ahead and add our MongoDB as a dependency in our palm.xml. And once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. Uh, I'll do my best to make sure I, I put it up there. Um, I, I know I slack sometimes with putting code up, um, but right. So we're going to go ahead and get the Mongo Java driver and we're going to get version 3.63. 3 uh, I know that it works the best. Uh, 3.7 is out. A few things have changed. If you want to use a more modern one, um, I don't have the exact uh, represent or the exact API on me, although you can go ahead and just click API right here and you will be able to go ahead and find all the stuff are um, how to use it basically but we're gonna use 3.63 just because i'm very familiar with this one and i know how it works the next program you guys are going to want to get is mongodb compass i forgot to mention this in the first video now this is not something you need but this is a really easy way to visualize your database as you can see down here um, you can see all your databases and whatnot so i am going to use that uh, as you can see i have a day economy right here this is obviously not going to work um, the, the URI code that I'm going to get, I am going to change, so don't worry, you guys won't be able to get into my database. Uh, after I make this first video, it's going to be changed. So once you make a MongoDB Atlas account, go ahead and create a new project. It should be the first thing that you see because it's the first thing you're going to have. Then you're going to want to do is build a new cluster. Yours is going to be right here in the center of the screen. It's going to say build new cluster. Um, so just, just keep that in mind. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and click connect. And you're going to go on ahead and allow your IP address. Now you can go ahead and click allow from anywhere. Um, obviously my IP address right here is going to be blurred out because the screen might be blurred out right now because um, I don't want you to know my IP address. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can add just your IP address or you can allow access from anywhere. Um, I would suggest just allowing your own IP address just in case uh, your URI, URI string gets put out there for some reason. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say connect your application. And we are using Java driver. 3.6 or later, reason 3.6.3. So we are gonna go ahead and get this here. So we're gonna copy this and now we can close that. So this is our URI string. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and go to security, click on edit on the admin, and you're gonna to wanna to make a new password for your admin. Your admin password can literally be whatever you want it to be. So as we head back to our uh, IntelliJ here, let me zoom in here. Let's go to our config. And we can see here that I have this URI right here and my password is going to be admin admin one, two, three, and that should work. So now the next thing we're going to create in our main class here is we're going to create an instance, a static private static instance of our day economy class. We're called plugin. Then we're going to create a getter, which is just going to return plugin. Then we're just going to set plugin to this and then the on enable. And then we're going to have create an instance class method, which will be used to instance classes when we get there. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on your main package here, new, new package, and make a utilities package. I've already made that. Um, you guys can't see it, but it's already made. We're going to call this Mongo Connect. Now this is going to be where we're going to take care of all of our connection setting and getting of our MongoDB database. So 
First things first, we're gonna go ahead and say private Mongo database, database, private day economy plugin equals day economy dot git plugin. Great. Now the next thing we're gonna say is public void connect. And then we're gonna just say Mongo client, and now this is just the client that we can that we're gonna access our database from equals a new Mongo client, which is going to equal a new Mongo client URI, which we are just gonna go ahead and say plugin dot git config dot git string nope, dot git string in URI. Great. Now what we can do is we need to go ahead and create getters and setters for our database here. So just alt insert if you're on IntelliJ getter setter database great now we have that so now we can go ahead and say set database and we're gonna say client .get database we're gonna call it day economy that's what our database will be called and we'll get to setting that up here in a minute and now we're gonna do one more thing in our utils class we're gonna go ahead and make a new class we're gonna call it message manager now this is I like to do this in every plugin I make just it's a clean and simple way to do um, custom messages and it's just it just works out really good. So what we're gonna go ahead and say is we're gonna say public static void uh, console good and this is just going to require a string and we will just say um, oops bucket that gets console sender that send message and we will say Check color dot green and then our message and we're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this three times and we will just say console bed and console info so we'll just change this to red and we'll just change this to yellow so now what we can do in our Mongo connect when this is all connected we can basically approve it and we can say okay this is good and it's connected so let's just go ahead and do that so we're going to say message manager console good database connected so now in our main class what we can do is we can go ahead and just say private well I don't know if we're gonna make it private let's just make it public for now we can make it private later on so let's just go ahead and say public Mongo connect Mongo connect and then this is just going to be Mongo connect equals a new Mongo connect and let's just go ahead and export this plugin really quickly here and we can see if this works and if it works we will be pretty much all set for this video and then in the next video we will start setting up um, a few other things inside of our database oh okay so well our plugin loaded but what we forgot to do is we actually forgot to uh, run the connect let's just fix that so it's spelled right so let's rerun that all right so what we had to do is we had actually had the wrong connection string so you guys are going to want to grab the 3.4 or earlier connection string and copy that one and then paste that into your config.yml and you should be all connected so but what we can also do now is now that we have let's go ahead and grab that connection string again so let's copy that let's make my screen full here so we have our connection string there, so copy. Now in MongoDB Compass, when we open it up and we have it pasted or copied or clipboarded or whatever you want to say, it's going to allow us to just quickly add it in. We'll add in our password. And we'll save this as day economy. Create a favorite, connect. And now once we've been connected, we can go ahead and create a database. We're going to call it Day Economy, and our collection name, which is going to be our first collection, is going to be called Layer Data. All right, so uh, I don't want to make this video go on for too long. In the next episode, we're going to start setting up uh, the getters and setters for the player data and uh, for the database. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to come back next episode to see more. But until then, take care and uh, peace out.